Hello everyone, Sam is here from myfirstmagicweb.com. Uh, really sorry uh, about the webinar today. Uh, my internet was completely down for hours. I uh, couldn't do anything about it. My phone system was down too. Anyway, um, um, let's uh, recap some of these, uh, these uh, pairs. Uh, the important one, and then we'll see later what's happening today. It's Sunday, market just opened, and um, after having a big move, usually on Friday, usually the market doesn't move on Sunday and Monday. It's very quiet. So, and this is uh, very, you know, it's it's a dangerous time, by the way. The volume is very low, and uh, most of the big guys are gone, vacationing, and you know, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, then Christmas, and now New Year, uh, right around the corner. And you know celebrations going on, so uh, you know big money, smart money is not in the market right now. Uh, not all of it, at least. So, but you know you will get moves. But the, why I said dangerous is because you 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 get moves, big moves in these times. But they are very chaotic and uh, without any reason, without any uh, technicals, and uh, you don't know why that happened and when they're gonna happen. Okay, so it's, you know, kind of dangerous that you know, uh, it comes out big, big moves comes out of nowhere, big spikes, you know, ups and downs, and uh, you know, taking out stops. Uh, so it's a lot of things. You need to be careful. That's all. All right. So Euro USD. I wanted to show you that uh, in my second last video, I probably I mentioned is that um, here uh, we came down here and then we left job unfinished. Uh, means that we went down without touching the TL. This is a weekly TL big monthly chart you can see here you're connecting these two this is coming and we we, we came very close and when you come very close that much uh, then usually you go and touch it. so when we drop here and then start going up that's that's why I says well you know I have a suspicion that you know we might go and touch this trend line and that's what we actually actually did on Friday okay we had a big up move right up straight touch this tail and then drop Okay, I think there were a lot of uh, sell orders uh, setting up their pending orders got uh, triggered. Okay, so now we are, uh, you know, off that TL after chat touching it, and um, uh, right now it's very uh, hard to say that is it going to be a reversal to the downside or it's just uh, you know because of those pending sell orders we had a reaction and then we might go up and then break this TL. To me, the, you know, 90% chance is that we will come at least to this tier, rising blue tier because, uh, you know, you have to respect this tier. This is a big, huge tier. It's not a small level, okay, and uh, this needs a little respect. So let's see what happens. Uh, for now, we are coming down. This is how it looks like on a smaller time frame. Big rejection, big rejection. We went up in a, in a hurry, touched it, and then it says, no, 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 you can't go up there. <laughs> you know the way is blocked so we drop then now we stuck here so if we drop the first level is 3664 these two levels are the big one uh, 38 36 on my sheet and then you see uh, 3664 is also big and the downside uh, after this the big one is 33 33 34 15 now acting as a very important level here uh, sitting out there all alone Okay, so that is also, uh, so these are the numbers that, you know, need to be watched uh, if we are going down. So right now, I think we're going to be slowly going down. So let's see what happened on this one. And then the other important thing that I want to show you is, uh, among others, is uh, USD, USD Yen. This is, uh, let me show you the monthly chart. This is how it is, and I think same thing is going to happen here. So be very careful. You see the Euro USD, we touched it, we dropped already more than 100 pips. That's what's going to happen here as well. This is a huge monthly TL, and we are very close by now. Okay, so we are definitely going for that. So, you know, keep longing this thing, uh, but not for, well, not for too long. I mean, you know, we are very close. So, uh, or you can just wait and see what happens when we hit this TL. Uh, if you go on a 15-minute chart and see what's happening, then uh, why do I have this? This uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I still have buy orders. Um, I still have this thing on here. See, 
So let's keep taking these uh, my EA. <laughs> All right, it's working fine now, you know, so far, but I still need to fix a few glitches on it. Anyway, so this is how it is. Uh, this is, the, see the pending order sitting here, but I don't see the pending order sign here. Maybe five minute chart. Hmm. Oh, yeah, right here. See? So this is an entry. It's the pending order. One got hit here, and then you're traveling to the upside. Okay, so it's very nice and clean, and... Um, Let me see it. Uh, okay, yeah. So this is the picture currently right now. Weekly TL is going to hit. We are going up there, and it will probably come. We go on a daily chart. Oh. Why do I press that button? If we go. Whoa. This is the. Probably will come around. I would say, oh, man, let me move this out of the way. And uh, probably around 106.50. That's what I think. Okay, so we will watch it. All right, just watch it, and then uh, right around there, and you know, you, you want to go long, you find setup, long setups, then you know, just take it to 106.50 around that. Uh, be careful about longing it. Uh, because uh, you know from there it might after touching the steel might drop big time okay so these are the two set good setups right now one is already you know uh, acted on uh, on Friday he hit the teal and drop this second one is right around here okay so as I um, see other pairs other things and I see something um, let me show you one more the pound pound USD weekly chart this is the level these two weeks you see here one was 6571 the other one was 6617 next to each other two weeks making highs 6571 6617 that's where we went in here and then got dropped 6380 was broken very easily not easily very tough but you know it was clearly broken and then we went to these levels and then uh, all of a sudden, we dropped. So if USDS start getting you know strong, then you know we will uh, be coming down on this pair and uh, your USD and others. Let me show you what happened on this um, USDX. You see here, this is a long-term chart, weekly chart. We're watching, and uh, when it was here, I said, well, you know, if we hold this, we're gonna start going up towards D. Uh, this was a nice morning star uh, when it was made. This black line and this blue. Uh, black candle the star and this bullish candle at that point uh, I send out the chart uh, probably like what, one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten weeks ago uh, so saying that this is a morning star candlestick formation and it's a very bullish candlestick formation and it should go up and we are going up on a smaller time frame what's happening is this okay this is a huge level here I've been telling you 60 uh, I mean 73 74 so that's what happened before we have a hard time. We came down to this highs here. Then we went up, broke this level, and got stopped at 75.61, dropped back to this area last uh, Thursday, Friday, and again got rejected big time. This blue line, 74.20, is also a very important level. If you turn this into weekly, you might be able to see this line here. Where is this uh, coming from? right here or where's the major uh, I thought that was some other thing probably that's the one okay okay this this uh, one two and three these are the lows that I was seeing and wa uh, watching them as um, resistance here is 7420 okay also right here you see that so it's very important also. So that one and this 74, I mean 73, 74 was tested and, and got rejected big time. So we start going up slowly. If you break this, if you go up and if you break 75, 61, then you have this level and then this level and this level, you know, so on and so forth. So for now, it is telling us that last week, the way it closed, uh, last not last week, last day, yesterday, Friday, 
big pin bar right here that is showing it's a you know solid bullish thing and uh, if we continue in that direction then USDX will be getting strong and then all those pair the you know USD and pound USD and Aussie Aussie is all you know as it is very weak so Aussie USD will probably go down even further and uh, Frankie will probably go up so uh, you know USD is acting and getting strong then our uh, USD yen will hit that TL easily and after that let's see what happens okay so watch out these couple of pairs for now and um, see how they react um, but I will still you know be very very careful and only probably watch and let the EA mess around here there um, you know it's a very good time for me not trade and uh, try to fix the EA uh, and just you know uh, all those demo cards I have these EAs uh, hooked up and then it's very important for them uh, to uh, you know optimize it's a long lengthy process actually um, let me show you if I can uh, if I can uh, what is this okay let's see this one this one see so this is how the optimization goes that once your E is um, good let's say there is a built-in yeah, it's called moving average. It it comes with the MetaTrader. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it is. That you know, you, you put that year here, and this is like a back testing. Okay, but before the back testing, uh, you need to do optimization. It takes a long time, basically. So if I have this, and if I wanted to test it from January first to uh, December first, for 2013 to uh, December 10, 2013. And if I do this optimization, and let's see how much time it requires doing that. It will tell me here somewhere. Um, oh, I didn't set the parameters. But anyway, um, forget about it. Uh, it, it. Okay, stop it now. Man. See, it didn't do anything. So I need to set the parameters and all that. So it's gonna take time just showing it. So, but it takes time when you when you set all these parameters and testing for the between the whole year, uh, it takes a couple of hours uh, for just one pair of setting. That you know it will tell you that okay between these settings, which setting is the best one for this pair. Then you have to go you know test the other setting and the other setting, then the other pair and then all the other you know pairs of settings and it's a long lengthy process. Uh, but uh, you must do it because uh, EA is not good for one EA will not work in all the pairs or all the times time frames. Uh, EA you know works on the uh, candlestick formation and moving averages. Moving averages uh, moves when the candlestick moves. So different broker, different servers, different uh, candlestick formations because of the different brokers. Uh, will have a big impact on the results of the year. So uh, each and every one, a lot of people say that, would you give it to us? Well, I can give it, but the problem is that it may not work on your broker. So I'm going to have to set up uh, or, or, you know, optimize uh, the EA for a specific broker. Like I'm using here IBFX, so it, it, this thing is working. But if some somebody has, you know, FX Pro, if you're using FX Pro, FX CM, or Honda, or whatever, and their feed is different, so the candlestick formation and then uh, the moving averages and all the other indicators to, which moves with the price will be moving differently. And the spread also has impact, you know, it, it is different time to time between the brokers. So that EA is going to backfire. If you, what you need to do is you need to get uh, optimization that EA for that broker for that pair. And then that pair will tell you that, okay, these are the specific settings for this pair which will do uh, the best on this year, on this pair. So that's how it is. So forget about that for now. Once it's done, it's fixed, and uh, then I'll be, you know, uh, I'll see what I can do with, uh, with that. So this is it for now. Uh, USD, uh, Euro USD, Pound USD, USD Yen. Let's watch out of the USD. I know. Uh, your dollar index.
Okay, so I don't think we're going to move any more uh, tonight right now. Maybe you know, let's see what happened on uh, Monday uh, morning in London session. Uh, if the market moves a little bit, and then we'll try to make a couple of bucks. If not, then, you know, it's okay. This time, if uh, you don't make any pip, it's perfectly fine. But just make sure not to lose any, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, then. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Again, uh, sorry about today's webinar. I'll uh, set up again something and, and we'll do it. Okay, and uh, any question or anything you have, uh, just uh, ask me. And um, I will uh, shortly after the, uh, uploading and sending this the recording out, I will send out the charts as well, uh, which I just showed you. Okay. And uh, so that you will have at least uh, a record as a charts. Okay, so this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.